Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Happy Thursday. I am not going in to the salon until five o'clock tonight. And I just have two clients I'm working like a very short shift. So I have majority of the day free to go out and do stuff, which is exciting. So I'm gonna bring you along. Um, the first thing that I wanna do is go for a nice long walk. The whole month of June, I was celebrating my birthday, my boyfriend's birthday had friends coming into town, was going out to eat a lot, drinking a lot, and you know, like, it's summer. I'm still planning on going out and having a good time, but I feel like I've just kind of been going a little overboard recently, and I'm just feeling not my best. I've just been feeling like bloated and kind of puffy, so this week I've been trying to get back on track and just eating a little bit cleaner and trying to be more active, so yeah. I want to go for a long walk to get a bunch of steps in before I really start my day. And then my boyfriend and I wanted to go to H&M. He needs some more bathing suits. And then I'm going to go to work. And then one of the bars downtown, they do trivia night every Thursday. And my boyfriend and I are big trivia people. So we went a couple weeks ago and it was really fun and we've been wanting to go back. And I think we're gonna be hanging out with my friend Haley today. She has the day off and this is her last week in Wilmington. She got a job in Charlotte. She is officially gonna be moving this Sunday. So, you know, I wanna hang out with her and like do Wilmington things together while we still can. But before all of that, I'm gonna move to do something impulsive. I've been kind of thinking about doing this Back when I like first chopped my hair a few weeks ago, I almost gave myself bangs at that time, but then I was like, eh, let me not because I feel like it's going to be too much change all at once. So I've slept on it and I just keep feeling like I want a little something. My hair just feels very like bowl cutty at times. So I feel like I need something to give it a little more shape and make it a little more fun and interesting and also I do, like at the very, very front of my money pieces, because these are pretty light, um, I have some breakage. It's not terrible, but they're, it's getting a little thin. So I'm like, I may as well just do some curtain bangs because like, I feel like that hair has got to go anyway. And I brought my shears home the other night. So I'm like, I have them here. Let me just do it. So. I'm gonna just show you how I do this. I have a couple videos already, which I, I'll link my most recent one down below where I go into like more thorough detail. It's like an actual proper tutorial. I just determined like how thick I want the bang section to be. And I used my comb to create as even and straight of a parting as I can. And I like to kind of come down in a bit of like, a triangle. I'd say a slightly rounded triangle. This is what my section looks like. And I part my hair down the middle. So I'm going to grab a little bit of hair from the center. And this, so like my part would be in between these two pieces. So I'm bringing these together so it's centered. And then I'm determining where I want my bangs to start. Keep in mind when you're pulling them down flat like this. Oh, I also, as you saw, I like wet my hair a little bit. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're cutting. And then especially with bangs, like you need to kind of like restyle them a little. So you have to wet it regardless. Otherwise, they're not going to sit right. I'm going to pull this down. So when you're applying all this tension and the hair's wet, once it's dry and you're styling it, it's going to bounce up quite a bit. So wherever you think you want them to start, cut it like a couple inches below that. So I'm gonna start them at the tip of my nose. And then I can always cut off more, obviously, if I need to. Yeah, maybe I'll cut a little more than that. Yeah, I think that feels like a good length. Cause then again, when they are blow dried and styled, they're gonna bounce up a little bit. And then I'm gonna part that back down the middle. So now I have my short pieces on either side. That's my starting point. And then I'm going to decide where I want them to end, like where I want the longest piece to be, which I think is like hollows of my cheeks, cheekbone area. So I'm gonna cut that. 
So now I have my shortest piece and my longest piece and I'm gonna just connect those. But let me match it up on this side. And you can just like pull them together to the center. Pull it down, make sure it comes to the same spot. Okay, and then I just do one side at a time. So I'm gonna take a little section from this side and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna bring it across like this. And then I'm gonna cut right there. Over directing it across is gonna allow it to have that nice angled look when you put it back the other way. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. Just take little sections at a time, bring it across. And I like to angle my finger so you can see, not only am I over directing, but I'm also cutting at an angle. So that's gonna add to the, what am I trying to say? It's gonna add to the angle. And then just meet it up with that end piece that you cut. And then I like to go in and kind of like point cut it so that it's not so blunt. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and it's probably gonna look funny until you style it. So don't worry about that if it's not looking good right away. Okay, and then I re-wet it and brushed everything down and it's looking pretty even. I like to just kind of like pull down on each side, make sure it's hitting the same points of my face everywhere and you can see that like nice curved shape so now i'm going to blow dry and style them there we go i put it half up because my hair is a frizzy mess at the moment i need to wash it and like properly blow it out and style it because i do want to wear it down with the bangs, but there you have it. Okay, we are back from our walk. I took my hair down because I was just feeling so sweaty and disgusting. It is so hot and humid outside. Like as soon as you step outside, you instantly feel damp. It's frizzy and a little messy, but I flipped it to the side and I actually really like how that looks. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that for the day. No way. We got home at the perfect time. I don't know if you can tell, but it is absolutely pouring. So I'm hoping that it just passes because I need to leave to go to work in the next like 30 minutes. But I am about to take a Magic Mind shot. I showed you guys these, like my last couple of videos, I've been taking these consistently. And this is the perfect thing towards like the middle of the day when I am feeling like, oh, I need that like second cup of coffee. I will just have this instead so that I'm limiting my caffeine consumption and also not like disturbing my sleep patterns. Right now it is 4.15 and I just feel like I need a little something, especially before I go into work. Can you hear the thunder? 
I'm not really looking forward to having to go into the salon, but this will absolutely help. This is a productivity shot. It helps to boost energy in your focus and elevate your mental clarity. So it just gives you that natural energy boost without the caffeine crash that you would get from coffee. And that was my last one from the box. The more regularly you take them, the better the effects are. If you guys would like to try Magic Mind for yourself, I do have a link and a discount code that you can use. So click the link in my description and use code SAMVAY20 to get up to 56% off your first subscription for the next 10 days. But I wanna do a little haul. I got a couple things from H&M. They had practically the whole store on sale. I ended up getting this like vest top. I just think it looks so cool. I'm envisioning wearing this with jeans. And it's like, I could wear jeans with a plain tank top and that's just like a plain boring outfit. Or I could throw this on instead and it instantly just makes it look elevated, more dressed up, cooler, more stylish. I could even wear it over a dress or I could in the winter like wear a long sleeve shirt underneath it. I feel like there's a bunch of different ways that I could style this, but it was on sale for 10 bucks, originally 25. And then I got this plain ribbed tank dress i just feel like these kinds of things i can never have enough of just so easy to throw on and i could easily dress it up or down this was also on sale for 10 bucks and i like the color it's like this faded dark gray then i got this little tank i just loved how it looked on really flattering and i like this color it's like a dark bluish gray and it's so soft this was i want to say six dollars yeah 5.99 and then the last thing that i got i'm really excited about because i almost bought this a couple months ago for full price and i'm glad i didn't because now it was on sale for 15.99 originally 35 dollars this denim skirt I kind of liked the look of the other one because I tried on two different denim skirts and the one had like the cool slit in the front and I loved how that looked but the way it was cut and the measurements of it were just did not work for my body. It was not meant to fit anyone with a butt. It was like gapping like crazy in the back by my waist but I'm gonna just like freshen up a little bit and then go ahead to work. I have two clients one is just like a permanent root touch up to just cover her grays and we're gonna do a little trim nice and easy she's one of my regulars and then the second one is coming in while the first client is processing she's coming in just for a consultation i will get some clips when i'm at the salon so i'll see you there i'm vlogging from my phone because i forgot my camera at home but i am leaving the salon now it is a couple minutes after seven so i was in and out exactly two hours my client was super easy she's great she's so cute and then my client that came in for the consultation was so amazing so i can't wait i am gonna do her hair this tuesday she hasn't had it done in months so it's super super grown out and very solid like the grow out line is harsh so she just wants to be super blonde but like blended so yeah i'm driving home now i'm gonna pick up my boyfriend and then we're gonna go to trivia night crooked but that works it is currently monday and excuse my appearance i need to hop in the shower and like do something about my hair but i didn't vlog anything this past weekend because it was my friend's bridal shower so i was very go 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 my good friend is her sister and i agreed to help her set everything up she was doing everything herself i'll show you guys some clips from it it came out beautiful and I not only did I go to help set up but I also brought my camera so that I could take some like professional professional photos and get some video and stuff so I want to put together like a little video for her of the day and then yesterday I wasn't feeling great it's just been so damn hot lately and I think it just all caught up to me yesterday I was just feeling like really tired and i had a headache and i felt kind of lightheaded so 
I napped and just kind of rested and I'm feeling so much better now. Now it's Monday afternoon, got up. Oh, I got a new Nespresso machine because the other one that I had, all of a sudden it just stopped working. And we tried taking it apart and watching all these videos and reading stuff online and doing all this different stuff and nothing was working. And it was past like the warranty period. So I was like, there's no point in trying to like call customer service and all of that. And it was a gift originally. So I just, Bought myself a new one and i bought myself an extended warranty that i got on amazon so i got an extended four-year warranty so yeah i got up made my coffee we went on a walk then we went to the grocery store and now i just came into my room to edit and i've been trying to get updates on the salon suite because i can't believe like today is july 1st oh which reminds me i need to pay my rent <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to check in. I'm gonna get back to work and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm the worst. I said I was gonna check in and update you and I completely forgot. I got so sucked into work, but it was a good productive work from home day. And then I finally finished my Instagram course that I have been working on and gradually putting together over the last couple of months. So it's officially done. By the time you're watching this vlog, the course will already be up live. I will have a link in the description, but it's an online course that just teaches you how to grow your clientele through Instagram, how to make sure that your page is set up effectively, what kind of posts you should be posting, how to get a lot of content. It goes over like how to write an effective caption, what hashtags you should be using, tips and tricks for the algorithm. It's just like everything that I have followed personally and that has worked for me when I grew my clientele originally the first time around, straight out of beauty school in Pennsylvania, and then everything I've been doing now in a new state having to rebuild from the ground up and I'm excited because I'm gonna have a lot more coming like this is just one course of many that I plan on launching in the future but it's already like 11 30 11 42 so I'm getting ready for bed and I was about to take a whole bunch of vitamin C because my throat was starting to feel a little bit weird and my lymph nodes feel kind of swollen so I feel like I'm kind of starting to fight something off and I really do not want to get sick, especially because tomorrow I have that new client coming in, the one that came for the consultation last week, and it's going to be a big appointment and I really need to be feeling good and like on my A game for it. So this is what I always do when I am feeling a little bit off or feel like I'm starting to get sick and it usually helps me. I take vitamin C. A serving size is one tablet. I'm taking six. I'm gonna drink all of this water. I'm also going to have this Ricola cough drop with echinacea in it. And I'm gonna make myself some chamomile tea. Usually, if I catch her early enough and I do all of these things and get a lot of sleep, that's the other thing. I'm gonna wash my face, make the tea, and then I'm just gonna go to bed. And usually that helps. So I'm hoping my body can just fight this off and I'll feel completely normal in the morning. Nivea cream before bed, always. And don't forget your neck. It looks ridiculous, but this is what I do before bed. A nice thick layer, let it sink in, and then the excess I just kind of like massage in. This is literally all I do. It has simplified my skincare routine so much. And I've been doing this for the past couple years and my skin has been the best it's ever been since I've been doing this. I also like to put Palmer's cocoa butter on my body. I always put this on all over first thing when I get out of the shower. And then sometimes I'll also layer it with the cocoa butter body oil. 
This stuff is amazing. If you ever get a sunburn, put this on immediately and it will prevent your skin from peeling and it'll heal the sunburn by the next day. And it adds such a nice glow to your skin and it makes you smell so good. And then your perfume will stick to it better. I love putting that on after the shower on top of the lotion. Anyway, I'm gonna go make chamomile tea. I'll see you in the morning. I'm getting ready for work real quick. I'm going in at one and then I will be there till like at least seven o'clock. My last client is a haircut coming in at six, but she's new, so I'm not sure how much hair she has, if she's just looking to get a trim, or if it's gonna be like a big intricate cut. Just have two clients today, and the first one, like I said, it's the client that came in last week for the consultation, so it's gonna be a big transformation. Oh, and I'm feeling amazing, so. Everything I did last night before bed worked. My lymph nodes completely went down. I'm telling you, vitamin C, some echinacea, lots of water, hot tea, and sleep. That is the recipe. Every time, it literally works like a charm. As long as you catch it in time, it has to be like right when you first start to feel like, ooh, I'm fighting something off. But yeah, I'm feeling really good, thank God, and I'm excited. I'm just gonna wear some comfy clothes. I have five hours reserved for this appointment, which hopefully should be extra time. I'm thinking it'll probably be four hours, maybe a little bit over four, for everything start to finish, including the cut blow drying styling. I'm gonna throw this on. Um, I'm just wearing bike shorts. And then this shirt is kind of long. It almost is like a shirt dress. It's from H&M, I got it a couple years ago. Just a little under eye concealer and some liquid blush, brow gel, mascara, hair pulled back in a low bun, easy. Put on my coin necklace that I got from Amazon recently. Super cheap. I probably will end up tarnishing. I don't know. I think it was like $13 or something. I'll link it down below. Perfume. Ambry Saffron. Duh. I'll see you at the salon. to know like what reality I'm living in because it's not this one like I knew my first client was gonna be a lot of work because she has a lot of hair and it was a lot of grow out big undertaking color correction situation and I thought oh I have five hours of time that is gonna be more than enough I'm gonna be able to take my time, get lots of good after pictures, style her real nice, it's gonna be amazing. No, I ended up having to call my second client and push her back a little bit and then I even still was like 10, 15 minutes behind. And I didn't have any time for after pictures or any kind of fancy styling or anything. I literally spent five and a half hours doing her damn hair. I don't I don't want I don't want to get into details, but it was just like a lot. It was a very stressful appointment. And then I didn't get clips of my second client because at that point I was like, okay, I just need to like, you know, finish this day. I don't want to like make her wait any longer. And we just cut like maybe an inch and a half off. She didn't have like a lot of hair really and she just wanted a blunt cut. And then I called my mom and I talked to her for two hours. So now I'm just beat and it's 11, 11, 16. I need to wash my face and get ready for bed. I'm just so tired and I'm like, I have just been talking non-stop for the past 10, 10 or 11 hours straight. I need to let my vocal cords rest a little bit. I just wanted to close out this vlog here. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't already. I'll probably start up a new vlog in a couple days. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me on my hair page. That's where I have been posting the most regularly. So if you wanna keep up with me in between videos, I will be 
over on Instagram. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Magic Mind. Thank you so much again to them for working with me on a portion of this video. And I will also have a link to my merch shop as well as my Instagram course on how to grow your clientele through Instagram in the description if you guys want to check that out as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, being here every week, and the support that you show from watching my videos, liking, commenting, all of that kind of stuff. It really means so much to me. I hope that you have an amazing week, and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.